Curtis Life, it's been a long time since I've done something underwater here on the channel. So we created an invention. We got these boots that we attach to cinder blocks. <laughs> That's gonna make you sink and weigh you down at the bottom. It seems a little counterintuitive, but when you have this bad boy, an ancient copper diving bell, this is like a bubble of air that surrounds your head that allows you to breathe underwater, but it floats. So you gotta put on a lot of weight so you sink to the bottom. So hopefully I can run around and walk on the bottom. Let's test this thing out. Um. <laughs> oh, that is so cold. Oh, why did we have to do this in winter? I had all summer to go scuba diving and I didn't. How's the uh, temperature of the pool oh. though? Everything's cold, so Everything's cold. That's why I'm suiting up heavy. Whew. It looks good though. It looks good. It's a good look on me. It does. It's a new fashion trend right here. Let me show you how these bad boys work. It's pretty much just a boot <laughs> that are glued to bricks. That's that's it. It's pretty simple. They're glued? Aren't they going to fall off? <laughs> uh, they got actually concrete anchors. Oh, okay. Like a screw. Mm. So we're going to go real tight. <laughs> oh, the back lace. We, we just don't want these to fall off because, you know, for safety reasons. Exactly. I would hate to float up to the surface and get fresh air. <laughs> Imagine if you hit the red carpet and these were like lightweight so you could walk. Oh, It'd be high. Honestly. It'd be the most masculine uh, <laughs> yeah. We were talking about it. like Construction really worker like vibes. Light plastic or something or foam. Honestly. And you roll up just yeah. looking tall. So here we go. This is my next attempt at living and breathing underwater. You guys have seen me before with the different underwater house builds. Those were a little bit different because that's an actual structure where I can jump down, swim under, and actually breathe and stay dry. This, however, Ever is like a portable way of living underwater. But nonetheless, this is a prototype and it might not work. What's the game plan? What are you thinking? I'm gonna just slide in. I'm gonna slide in, okay. Probably gonna need this, yeah. Well, I got the breather ready for you. Let me uh, go to this side real fast. Yeah, come lower me down. I need your muscle. Come on, big boy. I wanna like lean back, <laughs> this is really weird. Give me okay. like something like this to go on. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, can you lift that? Right, that's too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the muscle. Yeah. I need to be babied in. There you go. That's perfect. Okay. Good. Right. Yep. Right. Next one. <laughs> one, two, three. Just get dragged in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're good. Thank you. You're good. Oh, and oh, whoa. All right, so we're in. I thought you were going to sink yeah, a lot. No, we're going to go to the deep end next. Yep. All right, what do you need next? Gloves? Okay, now it's warm enough. Okay. I just need this guy. This is. I'm starting to think these bricks won't be heavy enough. Okay. Oh, right. it's heavy now. All right, put the breather on. There you go. Air underwater is so buoyant and it wants to float, so I've actually strapped down so much weight. This helmet weighs 40 pounds, pushing me to the bottom of the pool. I also have the concrete boots that are pushing me down, so I have a lot of things that make me sink, which is great if you can breathe underwater, but if you can't something goes wrong, it's gonna be super sketchy. So here I am underwater trying the first test. I'm just trying to see what happens if I just kind of go underwater. If something happens, I'm in shallow water, I can stand up and keep breathing. And so far, it seems like it's working. I'm trying to get the feel of it. The concrete shoes are so heavy and I am nervous that they're stuck on my feet and may prevent me to get to safety if something goes wrong. So just taking things slow and getting comfortable. With the helmet, there's a few things I have to do. One, I have to keep it full of air so I can breathe, but the air will eventually get stale when I breathe all the oxygen out of it. So I had to keep replacing it with new air. So I have the regulator. It's not attached in any way. So I'm holding that in my one hand and I'm holding it underneath so I can squeeze that and release fresh air bubbles to fill the helmet up. Also, the more air I put in, the more buoyant I get and the more I wanna float. So I'm balancing like all kinds of things with my hands. My other hand, I'm just holding the thing on my head. It's not very comfortable. It's got some sharp edges. It's leaking, it's bubbling. And I honestly have no way of telling people up on the surface if I'm good or not. So they might see disaster strike and literally have no idea. Things are pretty good. I wanna get a reset so I can go a little bit deeper. So let's take a break and come back up to the surface. You got, you got too much air in there. Let me take your second. I don't want to get stuck at the bottom. I'm staying close to the bar in case I need to reach it. I'm kind of feeling it out because uh, the shoes aren't so heavy, especially with the buoyancy. So like I don't get a lot of traction because they're kind of floating the brick. Carter's life is blowing up. Guys, check me out on Instagram at Carter Share. Link is in the description below. All right, this time we got dumbbells strapped. Are you sure that's secure? No, it's secure. <laughs> It just falls off. Is it heavy? Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Test number two. Breathe <laughs> it. Is it working? Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see it. I caught my breath full of fresh air and I'm ready to go back down again. This time, I want to go a little bit deeper 
and really test it and see if this is gonna work or not. And I'm starting to get a little more confident. Let me give you the rundown of what I have. First off, I have the concrete shoes that are bolted on to my boots. This is gonna allow me to sink to the bottom. Now I have to tie these on, which means if something goes wrong, I'm gonna have a very limited time with my last breath to untie my shoes and get out of there and swim back up to the surface. So it's kind of sketchy. I'm low-key actually really worried about the boots. Next up, I have the wetsuit. This will keep me nice and dry and warm. And lastly, the centerpiece of this whole thing is this diving helmet. Now, this looks like a real diving helmet, but it's not. This is actually just a decorative piece and it was never meant to get wet, let alone hold air. So what I did is I actually used just simple hot glue. I got the hot glue gun and I just sealed this thing up to make it hold air, but it really has no business being wet, holding any kind of pressure. So this is also a prototype. And now that we're underwater, let's give this thing a go and see how it all goes. So this time in the water, I'm going a little bit deeper. I'm walking a little bit further and I'm noticing that everything seems to be going well. I do have to be mindful though, to keep putting fresh air in here because the last time I did, I started getting lightheaded and I was wondering why. I definitely don't want to pass out underwater with stale air. That would be terrible. Fine. I'm taking another break. I'm resurfacing, taking off the helmet, and I'm gonna go for my last and final attempt. Carter's Life, you guys can now book me on Cameo and get a personalized shout out just for you. Click the link in the description and start booking. Now I am ready to go. I'm going full deep end. I'm really gonna see what this thing is capable of because I have tested it. I'm perfect. I even tied my shoes looser, so if I need to slip out, I am fine. So the risk is decreased. I'm more confident in the build, so let's really see if I can live and walk around underwater. I think it's gonna work. I finally made it to the deep end and Man, it is crazy. I'm comfortable, I'm moving, I'm vlogging, I'm trying everything. I even grabbed the camera, I got the selfie going, and let's see if you can hear me talk underwater. <laughs> Okay, well you kind of can, but it's also kind of hard. So I'm just gonna keep VOing and tell you my thoughts, but I feel incredible. It feels like I'm walking on the surface of the moon. I can't believe this helmet works. Moving around and being underwater for an extended period is such a cool experience. And I totally understand why scuba divers love it. This is even cooler because I actually have an air bubble and my face is staying dry. I'm walking, I'm moving. It's an entirely crazy experience. It's like having a mini underwater house attached to my head. I think this with an underwater house in the deep end where I can go in and out and travel underwater would be so cool. But for now, I'm literally walking around with concrete cinder blocks on my shoes. I'm 10 feet under at the bottom of my swimming pool. Remember guys, it's actually winter time out here and the water is super, super cold. The wetsuit works amazing, but the water is so cold that even when the water splashes up on my lips that are not covered, it makes my lips numb. If it gets on my forehead at all, it literally gives me brain freeze in a matter of seconds. That's how cold this is. But if the air bubbles in the mask is all good, I'm actually doing okay. I'm shivering a little bit cause you know, I'm a little cold, but overall it's pretty awesome. I can't wait for summertime when I don't even need a wetsuit and it's warm. I just want to sit down there. I'll have to have like a whole picnic table and just live underwater. Cause this helmet could literally make me live underwater for 24 hours, no problem. This prototype is actually proving amazing. And the goal for this is actually to walk across the bottom of the lake. If you guys haven't seen that yet, make sure to check out that video.